Hello everyone and welcome to my new video and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Visual Studio Code along with Python on your Apple Silicon product. This means you can install this product on your let's say MacBook Pro M1, M2 or any ARM 64 architecture so let's get started first we are going to go and type for VS code on our favorite search engine and then we're gonna go and simply click on download once we clicked on download we have different options here as you can see if you are a Windows user you can download the Windows version if you are using Linux, you can use the Linux version. And finally, if you are using Mac, such as me, I'm going to go and install the Apple Silicon version one. So I'm going to simply click on Apple Silicon and I'm going to wait for the download to finish. Once the download is finished, we're gonna continue with our installation. Great. Now that we have successfully downloaded the VS code, we're gonna go and unzip it. And then all we have to do is drop and drag our Visual Studio Code application to our applications folder. And then we are going to applications folder and double click on visual studio code we click on open congratulations you have now successfully installed visual studio code also known as vs code on your apple silicon product also if you have like mac or MacBook Pro with M1 or M2 chipset, you can follow the same steps. You can use VS Code for developing and writing code. You can use different languages such as C, C++, Python, JavaScript, and many more. So now we have successfully installed VS Code. We're going to go and install Python on our Apple Silicon product. So now I'm going to go back to my favorite browser. And then here I'm going to type Python and click enter. Then I'm going to go and click on downloads. And here you can see you can select different operating systems such as Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Here by default Python website selected the Mac OS for me. So all I have to do is click on download. Now that the Python has been successfully downloaded, I'm going to click on Python PKG installer. And I will say continue, continue. I agree the agreement, install. You have to enter your password. Great. Now we have successfully installed Python on our Apple Silicon product. So then all I have to do is go back to my VS Code or Visual Studio Code application. I'm going to go and create a new folder on my GitLab account. I will just call this one Python test 
and then I will click on create project once the project is created we're gonna go and scroll down and find clone click on clone and we're gonna click on open with our IDE visual studio code I will say yes and then it's asking me to select my location I'm going to select my location on my documents and then now my folder is cloned from my GitLab repository I will say open and now we're gonna go and create a file let's say python.py and we click enter so as you can see now we have successfully installed our vs code and our python and also one more thing i'm gonna show you i'm going to show you how to create a virtual environment for python if you are not familiar with what virtual environment is basically let's say you are working with different different projects and different different development environment for your application let's say you are creating an application or a software then you want to always be control of that environment and also you don't want to be interfered with other development environment and also it is very good practice in terms of that if you are using different operating systems then if you move this folder or your project to another operating system your project is going to be always static and constant and you will have your environment untouched okay so I'm going to now go and click on terminal now to create a project or a virtual environment project for Python we are going to type pip install virtual env stands for environment great now that we have successfully installed the virtual environment we are going to create a virtual environment folder then we're going to clear the screen we are going to type virtual environment env and then we click enter again and as you can see now the virtual environment folder is created and there is a few different libraries and files created and then from here we are going to go and activate our virtual environment we're going to clear the screen then we're gonna type source env bin activate as you can see we have the environment folder under the environment folder we have bin and then we, we can type activate so gonna enter and if you see this it means now you have successfully entered your virtual environment python if you want to learn more about what virtual environment in python is simply search on your favorite search engine about python virtual environment and what is the application of it and you will find a lot of information about how you can use and make use of python virtual environment i hope that you learned something today 
Thank you so much and goodbye.